We got the fire warm and the stars are out tonight All I need is you and I You're the one I adore and with you by my side We are free in paradise When you kiss me, I feel like paradise It may be the coldest outside, but When you touch me, it's like a summer night It may be the coldest outside, but Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 24th of October until the 30th of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the King of Swords. You have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it, and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time. This detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, make firm and well-researched decisions, and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. Oftentimes, the King of Swords represents a professional advisor, such as a solicitor or attorney, financial advisor or taxation consultant. This advisor has a solid reputation and a vast amount of knowledge in his particular field, and will provide you with objective, well-researched advice about your own situation. He is completely impartial, and will draw upon his experience and his innate knowledge of the rules, systems and structures that are in place. He may come across as detached or disinterested in your personal circumstances, unless it relates specifically to the type of advice he is giving you. This is so that he can provide only the most relevant and objective advice to you. He prides himself in his expertise and qualifications, and is likely to charge a high fee for his services. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the five of cups. What do you want most right now is letting go of the past and learning from your mistakes. This card can often reflect a person who is caught up in the past and unable to move on missing out on new opportunities. Bitter memories from the past continue to bother you, and often a great deal of the blame for past actions is placed on yourself and your inadequacies. To some it would seem that there is no way out of this situation but the tarot always shows problems on one hand and solutions on the other. Forgiveness and the ability to recover after emotional loss are necessary. If you are feeling disappointed by another person's actions, and then find it within your heart to forgive that person, releasing yourself from the disappointment. You may also need to reassess your expectations that have led you to this disappointment. Were you expecting too much? Remember, too, that hindsight is much clearer than foresight and present day wisdom is gained from the mistakes of the past. Reflect on what lead you to this point and understand what important lessons you can take from the experience. Even when things go pear-shaped, there is always something positive that can be gained by reflecting on the lessons learned. While it is true that much has been lost, 
There is still a ray of hope because some of the cups in this card remain full and upright. You must not pity yourself when you find yourself in his situation. Instead of looking at the situation from a glass's half empty perspective, look at it from a glass's half full perspective. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the fool. You are afraid of a new beginning ahead of you. You may be acting in total disregard of the consequences of your actions and indeed acting their fool. You are trying to live in the moment rather than planning ahead. You are acting recklessly, wanting to break free of the usual routine in order to find yourself but doing it in a way that completely disregards others. The fool cautions you about potentially being taken advantage of or entering into a deal where you do not fully understand the consequences of your decisions. If you are offered an opportunity that seems too good to be true then it probably is. It is really important that you do almost a due diligence on the opportunities presented to you to ensure that you are making the right choice and not simply going with the most enticing offer at the time. Be prepared for the challenges that lie ahead so that you are not taken by surprise. Do your research and make sure you are well prepared for critical events, such as job interviews, applications, presentations and meetings. You might not want to be placed in a work situation where you are completely out of your depth and have no clue what you are doing. You want to feel at least competent that you know what you need to do and you most certainly do not want to look like the fool or the newbie on the block. Even if you have not been in the workforce for a little while, you want to be respected for your experience to date and do not want to have to start at square one again. The nature of your relationship is highly changeable and uncertain, with spontaneity taken to a whole new level. You may be unsure about where the relationship is heading and whether you can safely depend on your partner. You may both be risk takers with little consideration for the long term consequences of your actions. This may bring with it excitement and suspense but also an underlying feeling of uncertainty and insecurity. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the ten of swords. You may feel powerless as something comes to a crashing and sudden end, and you feel as if you are being attacked or backstabbed by someone else. You may even use this challenging time to portray yourself as a martyr, to show that you have put your interests last but have suffered as a result. The Ten of Swords also indicates a difficult experience of endings, loss, pain or release. However, the saving grace is that you have a new awareness and a positive sense of relief that the difficulty and pain will soon be over and will evolve into something new. As with all endings there will be a new beginning, a rebirth, and a rejuvenation of the spirit. So, while this card may seem negative at first glance, it is a card of help and an indication that your troubles will not be permanent. Furthermore, this is the final moment, and no more pain will come to you from that source. It is darkest before the dawn, and as gloomy as it looks, the sun will rise again. It can only get better from here. The Ten of Swords is about letting go and accepting your current circumstances. You no longer resist change but allow it to happen, even if it causes some initial pain and hurt to you. You accept that there must be change in order to facilitate renewal, and you allow it to occur rather than fighting it. After a painful situation, it is a signal to pick yourself up off the ground and to reflect upon what happened to you and why, and what you can learn from the experience. The Ten of Swords is a sign that the pain and hurt you have endured has not gone without purpose. The positive power within you can be used to learn from your pain and draw wisdom from defeat. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the Ace of Swords. You lack clarity around what your true goals and aspirations are. 
you have a high level understanding but have you been able to define this in more specific terms? This card often appears when there is a lack of clarity or complete understanding of the task at hand, and asks you to spend some more time on clearly defining in very real terms what it is you want in life. Set yourself some smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-bound, so you can be really clear on what you are working towards. Focus on the basics and do some better planning. The Ace of Swords also reflects an idea or concept which you have not yet put into action, perhaps because you are unsure about whether or not it will bring the results you want. You are having difficulty with the early stages of formulating an idea, a plan or your goals. You may have too many ideas on the go and are unable to make a decision, creating challenges with completion. The Ace of Swords identifies clouded judgment and lack of mental clarity around a specific situation. You are missing important information or evidence that will assist you in your predicament, so invest your time and energy into seeking out the truth, rather than simply taking things at face value. The Ace of Swords can also suggest that a situation has regressed into to a state of complete chaos and confusion. Whatever clarity you had about the specific situation is now gone, and instead it feels like there is just one big mess. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Two of Pentacles. There is a need to balance your venture with other important areas of your life such as family, friends, and even our own physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. This card indicates the necessity for balance between opposing desires and interests. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes, the Two of Pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the Two of Pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. The Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is with you right now to awaken your sense of connection to life itself. You are moving through a deep transition and things will be clearer from this point. You will know exactly what you need to do and where you need to be. This is a powerful time, 
as you will transcend the limitations that others have set for you. It is a time of innovation, ideas, stargazing, soul traveling and soul revealing. Shiva, the Lord of Dance, is here, with his sacred sound of Om, to lead the way. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.